Cheers, I'm Ben Franklin, founding father and guy best known as the face on the $100 bill. Who better than a piece of currency to introduce a program called Talking Real Money? Hi, I'm Don McDonald, and welcome to another exciting edition of the Talking Real Money Combo Cast. Audio and video today. You can listen to the podcast. You can watch the video cast on YouTube. It's all manner of casts just cast right at you. Uh, over there, hanging out in the uh, increasingly popular Museum of Military Models <laughs> is Tom Cock. Getting ready how to was, add an how are the attendance 219 uh, I'm just, by the way, I'm just looking at our YouTube channel because the most popular piece we've ever posted Ooh. is the military um, aircraft piece. That was a great nope. one. It's the retire meet 2022, which is nearing a thousand views. Now I got to go dig further into the, uh, analytics to see for how long people are actually it's looking 40, at 50 watching. seconds. It's, yeah, like well, that. it's it all good. Whatever. Okay. Uh, and we've got a lot of subscribers now. Our subscriber numbers are like over right up there. 1.1 K. Is that 1.1 million? That's, that's no, that's 1100. Oh, you're killing me. It's ruined my day. That's okay. pretty good. 1100. Oh yeah. That's crazy. That's compared to where we were a year ago, which was zero. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Thank you All right. for watching Hi, welcome, and listening. Welcome. Yeah, well, sure. well, yeah, thanks for watching and listening. Oh, you know what mm -hmm. I got in the mail the other day? What you get? Here, I'm going I'm to show it to everybody. I'm going to oh, show it to okay. everybody. I got in, in an email. Uh, the director of my student film that I was in sent me one of the screen grabs from it. And here, I'll just show that to you right now. This is Don under the gun. Yes, I'm, I'm, I've got a gun pointed at me. This um, isn't a Baldwin production, right? I'm not going to tell you what happens at the end. I don't want to spoil it for you, but uh, that's me in the movie. Laugh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Laugh, Tom. I looked for you in Top Gun, but apparently you didn't make the cutting <laughs> room on that the, one. So, I did sorry. not make that one. I Although wouldn't I, want to be I one did. of those planes, actually. So Eesh. I did get a voice job. I can't tell you about it yet, but it's on another podcast. Oh. What? <laughs> I'm playing a giant. I'm playing oh, the you giant. got the giant one? I got the giant role. Well, do you so. have to eat up between now and then just to bulk up a little bit, or what's the deal? Well, I, this giant is the the height of a skyscraper, so Ooh. I got a lot of work ahead of me. Like the anyway, bean pole going. So I'm really Good excited. This yeah. is fun stuff. Anyway, welcome to our show. Today, we're going to talk about some fun stuff. We're going to talk mm -hmm. about getting rich. Which is what everybody wants to know. Right. Yeah. That's it's so easy. interesting. Today, in my daily reading. And I do my I do massive amounts of daily reading. I saw two different stories, and this is really funny because um, what's the do they have a, even have a date on these things? I don't I don't know when I don't they see. Came I don't out. think they have a date on them. But I saw two different stories. One is nine ways <laughs> to become rich in 2022, and then By there the must way, be forgot, something. They forgot the tenth way. So. Yeah, which is be be rich in 2021. It just carries over 2022. <laughs> I, I, that was like that was easy. Come was on, easy. that's that no brainer. Yeah, so. But the funny thing is, is the other article that came up in the same thing. I think it was in Apple News in their newsfeed was nine steps to become a millionaire in five years or less. Please, really? So I'm thinking, gee, what's the secret? Becoming rich in five years or less? Well, here you go. You ready? These, I don't even know why they publish these stories. Step one. Yeah. Create a wealth building plan. Well, now we kind of agree with that. Yeah, I think it having should, a plan is a good idea. Absolutely. Yeah, but mm -hmm. Tom. Yeah. Will a plan make you rich in five years? <laughs> Uh, wow. I mean, because they mentioned investments, insurance, taxes, education, and retirement. Probably Which is not. good. Those should be in the plan. Unless you're selling um, like crypto education or something, which I guess could make you rich, but no. Well, okay. It. Or if your salary is, you know, like seven figures. Sure. You could be yeah. rich in five years. Absolutely. Oh, by the yeah. way, what's the, what's the rich number? Did they give that? 
You know, they didn't give the rich number in the oh. other article, in the nine ways to become rich in 2022. How much? I think they set the bar a little lower for this one, because remember, it said how to become rich in one year. Well, in six months. How much do you have so to they have? Went to they went to a guy by the name of Kyle Kroger, who's a finance expert, <laughs> whatever the heck that means, <laughs> at the Impact Investor. He says, mm. rich means being someone who regularly earned enough to be far from troubled by paying their fixed expenses, such as rent, electricity, other utilities, health insurance, and education expenses. That's, yeah, what does to him, that that's mean? Rich. That means nothing. That That's silly. Well, the other guy, who's Andrew Lokanoff, CEO of Fluent in Finance, LLC, he says wealth comes from being frugal. Okay, so far, none of this is any help, but I'm going to go through the nine things to make you rich in five years because I, I think we maybe we'll find the secret here, okay? Step, we, well, the first one we know is important. Have a plan, right? Have a plan. Yeah, okay. I agree. Mm -hmm. Don't think it's going to make you rich in five years. I think both of us agree with that. You might get lucky. I don't know. Yeah, sure. That's okay. Step two, take advantage of employer contributions. Really? Unless your employer is pay is contributing a hundred thousand dollars or more a year into your retirement plan, you, that is not going to make you rich in five. Uh, years. Which they legally cannot do, by the way. So. Right, right. Um, it's basically this thing says the 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 step says these benefits can add up to two hundred dollars a month to your retirement plan. Whoa, I'm going to be rich. That's like twenty four hundred dollars a year. That's a lot of money. One of Not. the best ways, here's the next one. It says mm. that this is one of the best ways to amass a net worth of over a million dollars. This is one of the best ways to do it. And remember, they gave us a five-year time frame. <laughs> this one, I, 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 it has to be my favorite. Yeah. Should I get our, oh, I'm going to get our CEO on the phone for this one. No, don't call him. He's busy. Are you sure? Okay, because this something one. something else. Yeah. Unless you can do this. This one is ask for a You're, raise. Yeah, ask for a raise. Well, you already know I can't do that for you. And even when I was your boss, I never gave you one anyway. So, right. Because we, so, we can never sorry. afford it. Because we can never afford it. So, um, hey, boss, can I have a raise <laughs> of a quarter of a million a year, please, sir? And by the way, that would not be inappropriate because aren't there many athletes who are having a good year and they go mid contract and say, hey, I'm scoring 30 points a game here. Sure. Throw that one out. Give me a new one. How well have you done at your office? Go ask for a quarter of a million more a year. See what happens then. <laughs> Step you four, save on, a significant... Counting on somebody else for your income. Yeah, go ahead. You know that million-dollar paycheck we were talking about earlier? Well, the, mm. one of the, the... Step four is to save a significant portion of that. Sorry, if your income is $60,000 a year, I don't see that making a difference, but not in five years. Number five, develop multiple income streams. I, I don't, when I read this, I thought, what did, okay. And it says something about a side hustle. So I went side back and hustle. looked. Yeah. Last year, I did make $2,700 as a referee. That's a side hustle. There you go. Why aren't it, you rich? Some, some, sometimes it is a hustle. I don't, you know, that's a good question because I've been doing it a long time. I should have a lot of money. I love the term side hustle. Re remember back when we were younger and they said, oh, you need more money? Go get a part-time job. Yeah. Now it's a side hustle. They also mention a home-based business. And my sense on home-based businesses are they appear pretty easy, uh -huh. like stuffing envelopes while watching movies or something. But the reality is they're much more difficult than you think to really make money. And by the to way, the it, point it, it of does almost admit, impossible, by the way. He does admit, mm -hmm. keep in mind that this income isn't fun money. I, I Fundament. It's not fun to make because oh, you have to I have thought, a job. I thought it was like funny money. Like you just take it from the Monopoly game or something. Okay, that's good. All right, so that's number five. Number yeah. six, yeah. eliminate debt. Thank you, Dave Ramsey. And that probably should be number two, but okay, give you that. Yeah. Focus on paying your student loans and eliminating consumer debt. Reverse that. Focus on eliminating your consumer debt, then attack your student loans. Bingo. Because the consumer debt's ridiculously expensive. Plus, isn't the um, government getting ready to let go of 10,000 of your your student loan boy, debt anyway? 
My daughter sure hopes so. <laughs> Please. You, uh, okay, here's number seven. Yeah. You, you. Yeah. Need to make smart investments. I, again, I don't resist the temptation to invest in trendy um, things. Re- resist it, the temptation to, re- it, basically they said things like cryptocurrency, but um, something other than mutual fund or index funds, they say, is try real estate investment trusts. Well, those are index funds if you buy the right ones. Historically, I love this line. Who who researches these pieces? Historically, REIT funds provide high returns. Not true. Not true. And it depends Sounds on the good. REIT fund. Sure. But All right, REITs generally have actually made a little less than stocks. So, oh. You think that one was vague? Try this one on for science. <laughs> Step yes. eight, mm. improve your skills. This is why I'm Which going is, to act in class. What, yeah, this is the reason that I'm a referee because people, every time I work, say, you really are horrible. Fix that. And I come back the next week and they say the same thing. So I'm apparently not improving, but uh, I, I do like the thought. It's a good thought. Well, I, I got to tell you, I've really never heard of a referee negotiating a multi-million dollar contract. I think it's the players that get those. No, that's unfortunate. Rethink your education. But there are now groups that go to professional games and support the referees. I read it. It was in the Wall Street Journal. So, Step nine. Yes. This one's not phrased well. I'm going to read it to you exactly as the headline is phrased. Resist the urge to spend cash. Does that mean you can spend on your credit card? <laughs> yes. No, I think what they're saying is resist the urge to spend. Oh, you mean they generally. could have just ended it before the word cash? Yes, just spend. I mean, because obviously there's two parts to this, how much is coming in and how much is going out, right? And in the final paragraph of this column by Allison Johnson, I found her name. She has five years of copywriting experience, by the way. Well, that helps. Well, there you go. She did define rich. Oh. I love the takeaway. She actually has a takeaway. She does. Here it is. If you want to become a millionaire in five years or less, you'll need to adopt an an aggressive investment and savings strategy. Most young adults can benefit from adopting a more realistic timeline If you're in your 20s or 30s, start slow by taking advantage of compound returns, and you'll likely see your money grow in no time. And this is one of the problems, I think, in general with getting rich. I think saying I'm going to get rich in five years is to me is get rich quick. Like, oh, I'm going to go out and go from here to there very quickly. We know. We know the people that that's their goal they end up making bad decisions because they get caught up in a thing, a fad, a trend that says, I, you got to be part of this because it's going to make you a lot of money rather than spending less than comes in investing properly, keeping your costs low, which he does not mention and uh, managing to stay on that path, that uh, pathway that we know will help you. By the way, that goes back to number one, spending is truly the, the toughest part keeping that under control. You want to read a great book about all this? I think it's still in print millionaire next door. These are people that still, and I, I know I'm not the greatest, but I still drive my however many year old Honda now, no offense, but I never resisted the temptation to go buy other fancier cars. So, um, yeah. And and the other one, cause I know you love this one, Don is the idea that cause it's in here. You start a business, starting a business will make you rich. Well, Maybe, but it, it, maybe and yeah. the, it's hard work. It's, right. And this is the part that I, all joking aside, you and I have been at our little business now for, I think almost 15 years. And there really hasn't been very many days where we could just say, I ignored it. We've been no, on we, it pretty much every we day. We never ignored it. Yeah. And so the reality is that, that we have both grown comfortable through it, through the hard work. We're both comfortable. I really, really, really cannot say that I am or ever will be rich. I don't play the lottery. I don't play cryptos. I don't trade stocks. Um, 
I'm, I'm in my sixties. I just don't, that, that's not my goal. And that shouldn't really, that shouldn't be your goal. Your goal should be comfortable life. Ignore the siren song of the get rich quick scheme because uh, they will only lead you to trouble. You've got to have a good plan. you got to make sense. And bear in mind that most of the copywriters who write these articles with their five years of experience, they're youngsters. They're young. I, I was young. I thought I was brilliant. I did. Didn't you think you were brilliant, Tom, in your 20s? No, not really. I was around some oh. smart people, so I knew better. Man, you know, I was a stockbroker. I thought, gosh, I'm so smart. I know all this stuff. And every year that's gone by, I realize how little I really know. So, uh, <laughs> don't feel bad. No, you're part of us. I'm humble. It's okay. I've been humbled. All no. right. Thanks for uh, being a part of it. Uh, by the way, just to let you know, our written questions have gone way down. Thank you. <laughs> that's great. Uh, so uh, we've almost got cotton. Got cut. Got cotton. Cutting? I don't know. Cutting. We've cotton? almost gotten caught, but not oh. got cotton. Got gotten cotton. Uh, I okay. think the shirt's cotton. It looks good. Uh, we, <laughs> we've almost caught up. And uh, so we're just going to call this one a podcast, a video cast, and all kinds of casts. Ask you please to share the uh, the podcast or the video cast, the whatever they call it, vlog, uh, with your friends on social media. Tell people about it. Leave a review. Um, subscribe, ring the bell. <laughs> do something nice. You know, do do cartwheels and uh, please keep listening and watching and visit us at talkingrealmoney.com and call us with your questions at 855-935-TALK. And before we call it a a combo, Tombo, yeah. mm. anything else you want to add? You know, I want to add that we are here truly to help you. I, 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 I didn't want to feel like I was complaining about running a small business all these years because I love it. I love talking to you. I love the, it. It's fascinating. And no, I the just people don't, we I get don't to think meet, you were complaining. So. I, no, I honestly okay. think you were just telling it, telling it straight. It's people just business think it's is easy. Hard. Yeah. It's just, I set this up and this separate income comes in. I don't want people to, I think people feel that way about rental homes. I think people feel that way about a lot of little businesses that once I do that, the money's going to roll in. I, it has not been my experience in having a lot of different small businesses over the last well, 30 plus years. So uh, just be forewarned about that. Number two, mm -hmm. we want to look at your portfolio to make sure you're doing what you're doing right. I just sat in a meeting, very nice uh, a woman today who brought her portfolio in, major brokerage, thought that they were treating her well, paying 1.3% a year for the management, which there really wasn't any, no financial plan. And then the underlying assets, some of which cost more than 1% a year, and the portfolio, I, I used your expression, Don, hodgepodge, a lot of individual stocks, a few mutual funds, a few exchange traded funds, some individual bonds, and then other stuff that they put in there because, well, again, my judgment, because it paid them to put it in there. So you don't want a portfolio like that. You need a plan. Plan should be at the middle, portfolio built around that. We're happy to look at your situation. To do, I know it sounds like a sales pitch, but- and maybe it is, but I'd really like to see more of you get this right. So well, especially because, okay, when it, you get it, close it, to retirement. Yeah, of course, we're in business. We are. We we want new clients, but we don't have to pressure you to become a client because people do no. because we, we do this we do this crazy little thing called being honest. We just tell you the truth. Um and we won't try to sell you anything. So go to vestory.com, V E S T O R Y dot com to to, to spoke spoke. A lot of editing on this show, apparently. It's the end of it for me. It's the end. I've, I've <laughs> reached it. End. I've reached it. This is the end. Uh, and speak with one of our vestry by a fellow advisors. Uh, this is why I think I my classes have been going badly. I think my my mouth is disconnected from you need my brain. A day off, maybe a week. I need a vacation. No, yeah, I, think I need you do. an honest to god vacation. Yeah. I need Where to would go that away be? from where would it be? Where would you um, go? Actually, I have one planned. Oh. Actually, I have yes. two planned this year. This oh, is going to be a weird yes. year for me. I just don't know. I'm going to ha still have to work, which somebody's got to put the darn podcasts up. So, um, but I'm going at the end of July. Yes. We're going to a cabin in the mountains of Georgia. Wow. Right by a 
Creek, really beautiful. And that then in the middle of August, I think we're going with my wife's family to a beach house in near Myrtle Beach. So Wait, you're going with your wife's family? That does not sound like a vacation to me, but I leave it I, to you. I will have my iPad and <laughs> a beach chair. And something in the little glasses the, that goes yes. clink. Yeah, a cooler right next to me. So, it's <laughs> vacation time. Thank you all for being a part of our little get together. Spread the word and join us again as Tom and me, I, sit around talking real money we hope you realize that the information provided on talking real money is for educational and hopefully enjoyable purposes only providing personalized financial planning or investing advice takes time so please consult with a really good fee only fiduciary investment tax or legal advisor we know a good one investing must always involve risk in other words you can and probably will lose money at times also as much as you want it no one can accurately consistently predict the future so past performance doesn't tell you a darn thing about what the future will bring unlike many other programs that say something similar talking real money is not trying to get you to buy or sell any financial products or securities instead the program is provided as a public service by vestry a family registered investment advisor thanks for listening and please visit talkingrealmoney.com for more information and disclosures that's a wrap